the healthcare spending in India is expected to increase by 15% per annum to get to as much as 6.1% of our GDP by 2015. But what is worrisome about it is this, in spite of 6.1% of GDP going to healthcare through public spending, Private healthcare expenditure will account for as much as 80% of the total spending. In other words, people do not have confidence in public healthcare spending. Though, of course, I must say the extraordinary initiatives like Arugya Shri that Sri Rosaya and his colleagues have taken up, they, they are exceptions. But the reality is majority of the people go and use private care, private health care spending. On one hand, we have super speciality medical centers which are contributing the to the rise of medical tourism. But on the other hand, a very large percentage of our population, especially in rural areas, remain deprived of basic medical facilities. According to the Economic Survey of India 2009-2010, only 13% of our rural population has access to a primary health care center. Only 13%, please remember, out of every 100 people, only 13% can have access to even a primary health care center. As per government statistics, not mine, but government statistics, in 2008, 3,537 3, doctors' posts, 11,033 specialist posts, and 18,021 nurses and midwives' posts were lying vacant in rural India. To sum up, a large mass of citizens are yet to witness comprehensive medical health care that we all want. Therefore, we need to significantly improve our healthcare infrastructure. For example, India has only 0.7 beds per 1,000 patients. As against the world average of 2.8, African nations, some of the poorest African nations have higher beds per 1,000 population. <coughs> the density of doctors and specialists for 10,000 people in India is only 6 compared to 12 in Brazil, 14 in China and 43 in Russia. Forget about developed nations, I am talking of developing nations. This is where I believe private sector's contribution becomes extremely important. This is where the contribution of the state government through wonderful schemes like Arugya Shri becomes very important because by combining the healthcare insurance of Arugya Shri, Arugya Shri as well as by the extraordinary efforts of Dr. Devi Shetty through his Narayan Hridayalaya initiative, I believe we will be able to popularize medical uh, care for the masses will be able to provide high-tech specialty care to masses. This is where I am extremely happy, I am extremely proud of having an opportunity to participate in today's uh, wonderful function. I once again congratulate the Chief Minister on the Aurogya Shri program. I congratulate Shri uh, Dr. Devi Shetty and Mr. Malaredi on this wonderful scheme. Thank you very much.